Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, reporting live from the field because this is where life happens. And remember, the grind rewards itself. I do have my mount, um, but I'm not in my car. Uh, so I'm going to just set my phone up here and go ahead and make my video. Um, something that came to me a couple days ago and I want to share with you is being pregnant. Being pregnant. And I've heard a similar word before, but there was a particular, very direct word for me um, in the sense of having a hard pregnancy, right? Women will be more familiar with having a hard pregnancy than men will. Men will only know from the women that they've been around or they've been with, or maybe you're married, you're married to your wife, and maybe she had a hard, a hard pregnancy, or maybe you were with your kid's mother, um, during the time that she was pregnant, maybe you guys lived together or something like that, and you noticed that she was having a hard pregnancy. And what oftentimes happens with women who have a hard pregnancy is, uh, you know, such things as they can't uh, eat the foods they used to eat. Um, certain smells just definitely turn them off now. Um, they can't go places they used to go. And this is the same thing when you're pregnant with a purpose that exists. You can't keep eating the same food, okay? Because like I've seen it said, if you keep taking a plate from anybody who give you a plate, that's how you get poisoned, right? You can't keep eating the same food when you're pregnant with purpose. You have to say no to certain foods. You can't go to the same places you used to go when you're pregnant with purpose. And the reason why is because that's not the place for you to be. And obviously the smells, I mean, the smells of some of certain people's lives and the things that they do become repugnant to you because you're pregnant with purpose. So today I, 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 I urge you, I urge you by the spirit of the living God, I urge you that if you're pregnant with purpose, pay attention to the fact that you're pregnant with purpose. Even if it's been a long, hard pregnancy and all you want to do is finally give birth to that baby. Trust me, I know. I've been pregnant for a long time with purpose. Now, I've not birthed this baby yet. And sometimes it's very challenging. Sometimes you, you want to fall off the wagon. Sometimes you want to fall back. Sometimes you want to give up because it is a hard journey to get to your purpose. Sometimes you find yourself in places that you didn't think you would be surrounded by people that mean you no good. I mean, literally mean you no good. They'll take from you, right? But they mean you no good. And if you try to correct them, Lord knows if you try to correct them, they mean you no good. They would take your good words and try to make it seem like evil. Simply because... They don't want to accept it. So like I said, this was the word that came to me a couple days ago. If you're pregnant with purpose, keep going. Keep going. Even if the pregnancy is hard, keep going. Even if the labor is difficult, keep going. Because soon, 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 soon you'll be in your purpose. God has brought us all here for a reason. And we all have a purpose on this earth. And the quicker you understand that you have a purpose, is the quicker that God can birth it in you. I been knew I had a purpose. I just wasn't taking the right way to get there. So I hope that this word is a blessing to, to anybody who comes upon it, to anybody who's been wondering, to anybody who's been carrying a pregnancy, been carrying their purpose for so long, aching to birth it. I pray that today is your breakthrough. I pray today you understand this message. I pray today you keep continuing to fight the good fight. I pray today that you don't give up. I pray today that though it's been hard, you know that there are 
are easier days ahead of you once you're in your purpose. Once you're in your purpose and you let go of all the things that weigh you down that have nothing to do with your purpose. And you, you, you forget the ways of the world. But they lead to nothing but death and destruction. And you align yourself with your purpose. Unfortunately, as the Bible says, everything has a has a purpose. Even the wicked for the day of destruction. And don't be the wicked. Don't be the wicked. Though it seems like the wicked win, don't be the wicked. Though it seems like your oppressors have all the power, envy not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Stay steadfast in what God has put in your belly. You know it. You feel it. Every day you wake up and you feel the, the unfulfillment of your life. That is you knowing that your life was meant for a greater purpose. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Pray fervent, fervently to the Father that he would show you, that he would release to you what is your purpose. I pray for your breakthrough. Pray for the day that God releases you and places you in your purpose. Reporting live from the field because this is where life happens. And remember, the grind rewards itself. Let's get it.